I'll go with you. No. That thing could be dangerous. I'm part of this squad now too. Right? Omega convinces Hunter to let her come with him to reclaim their capacitor after their escape from Salukami. The group stayed on the move. They began to ration food as their supplies ran low. At one point, Omega was sitting on the floor looking at a data pad when Hunter passed out ration bars. Omega offered hers to Rekka when the bigger clone expressed his disappointment at the rationing, but Hunter reminded Rekka that Omega did not even have a proper place to sleep. Just then, the Marauder dropped out of hyperspace, with text stating that the ship was suffering from damage sustained on Salukami. Rekka helped Omega strap in as the shuttle crashed on the Ordo moon. Omega remained in the cockpit as Echo and Tech went outside to replace the capacitor. When they returned, they reported that the hull was being damaged by something outside. Omega saw a creature outside, and she yelled for the others to come. Tech deduced that the creature was an Ordo Moon Dragon, which fed on raw energy, and Echo checked the diagnostics to confirm that the capacitor had been stolen. Hunter prepared to go retrieve the device, and although he initially declined Omega's offer to join him, he relented and the pair donned breath masks and set off as Hunter tracked the creature. Omega followed Hunter as he used his enhanced senses to follow the creature. He eventually located it, but as he tried to grab the part, the dragon attacked him and knocked off his breath mask. Omega grabbed his mask for him and put it back on his face, but not before Hunter fell unconscious. Omega contacted the others with a comlink but then decided to take Hunter's blaster pistol and flashlight and set off down the tunnels where the dragon disappeared. After some crawling, she located its den and the capacitor. When she returned to the surface, Hunter was worried for her safety, but Omega proudly displayed the part and reassured him that she was fine and said that she had completed their mission. Back on board the ship, Rekka showed her the room he had set up for her in the gunner's nest. Omega expressed excitement and gratitude to Rekka telling the squad she had never had her own room before. Hunter then told her that she was now part of the squad.